Hello. In this video I will explain you what is the trading futures in simple terms, and show you some real examples on how to use it. In this video I use Binance, it's one of the most popular, but if you can't use it, you can choose another platform like Huobi, Crypto.com, or something like that. You can find all links in the description. I recommend to use my link so you will have a less commissions when trading. That's really good for you and for me. Ok let's get started. First of all you have to register here if you have an account, and verify it, by providing your ID or passport. By the way, if you use Huobi you don't need to verify your account to trade. Ok, if you have some crypto on your spot or funding wallet, you have to transfer it to the futures wallet. You can actually use USDT or any other crypto. If you use USDT go to, derivatives, USD futures. If you use crypto like Bitcoin or Litecoin, go to coin futures. I have USDT. Ok, now you have the workspace. This looks pretty cool. That's very similar to the classic trading. But trading on the features you can earn a lot of more money. So, what's the futures trading? This is similar to classic trading, but Binance lends you money when you buy or sell an asset. For example, you have only $100, so you can buy Litecoins for $2,500, because you have X25 leverage. And then when it reaches some value you can sell it, you will get profit from this deal. So you can get much more money for one deal. Or if this price goes down, you will lose your $100 or part of that money, but no more. And also you can sell coins without having them. Binance gives you the equivalent of your USDT in these coins. And when you close the order, you buy this coin, and it converts to USDT back. So you can sell it before buying, you make the deal in reverse order. You buy the coin when you think it will rise in price, and sell when you think it will drop. For example, Bitcoin costs $20,000, and you have only 100 bucks. Binance gives you the maximum leverage is 125. So you buy Bitcoins for $12,500. Then Bitcoin rose to 25,000, now you close the deal. And you get $3,150 in profit. That's really cool. But there is one thing, if this price drops to 19,840 you will lose your 100 bucks. So it very risky to trade here. You can minimize the risks by setting stop loses and take profits. You set stop lose value to prevent the loss of all your money, like if this price drops to 19,970, you will lose only $20 instead of 100 and you will be able to continue trading. Take profit is the price when the order closes automatically. You need this so you don't miss out on a good closing price. Ok let's talk about the interface. Here you select what currency you want to trade. There are a lot of coins. You can add to favorite assets which do you trade the most, so you can fast switch between them. This is the current price, and price on the market. You can see here the chart of the changing the coin price. This is the order list that shows the prices and volume of buying and selling deals. This part is your dashboard. Price, this is at what price you want to buy or sell the coin. You can use the current price, just click, last. Or you can buy or sell it with the current market price, to do this just go to the market tab. Size, is how much money you want to put in the new order. I can put only 20 bucks because that's all I have, but I will use only 10. This is also named margin. Then you can change the margin mode. Isolated, if my position drops by $10, the order will be closed, and my margin will be liquidated. When I use the cross type and if my position drops by $10, then this position will take margin from other you opened, and you can lose more money. Then set the leverage, how much money you want to take from Binance for this deal. Your margin will be multiplied by this number. So I will buy Bitcoins for $1,250. Different assets have different leverage maximum. Bitcoin has 125, Litecoin has only 25. Set the take profit and stop loss so you don't lose all your money. Usually I go to advanced, and then you can set the prices or the percentages of these values. For example, 10% for the profit and 5% for the loss. I want to buy so I set this values on the buy tab. If you want to sell do it on another tab. Then you can buy or sell the coin. Buying is also called long, and selling is short. And now I just make a long position by clicking this green button. As you can see a new position has been created. You can see your position and closing values on the chart, go to the display settings and enable these checkboxes. You can see I have set not good values of the profit and loss, you can change it just by pressing this TP slash SL button. And then set the prices you want. You can also see how much you will get or lose when this position will be closed. And also you can drag and drop take profit and stop loss on the chart. I recommend you to set stop losses and take profits, don't be a loser. Let's talk about the chart. This is a candlestick chart. One candlestick is the changing price for the selected interval, in my case it's 15 minutes, you can change this interval. Green candlestick means the price has increased in this interval, and red means the price has fallen. And also we have this thin line, that shows the maximum and minimum prices for this time. And the last parameter is trading volume. 
it's how much coins has been bought or sold within this time interval. This is actually all what you have to know about futures to start trading. The position I made before is closed and I lost $5. It just make to show how it works. So let's see the real example to get money. I see some big drop and a high volume of trading, so there are some big traders, this is a good signal to make a short position after some resistance. I have only $12, all in. A short position has been opened, and I also set the lose and profit values. Wait some time. As you can see I got $4 within 1 minute. I see the same scenario again, and make the short position again. After 30 seconds I close this deal I got $2 more. There is also some commissions of trades you made. If you want to have less commissions use my invite link. You will also get some bonuses like 0% of trading of some volume, or something like that. If you have any questions or video requests please write a comment about it. I can also make other videos about Binance or other platforms, on how to use indicators, about some trading strategies, or just how to top up the Binance wallet. Hope this video was useful and interesting for you. Thank you for watching.